Jean, it sure smells good in here. It does, oh, doesn't it? And yeah. the best part of all is healthy. Kale is one of the most popular superfoods around these days. It's really, it's really the hit vegetable. This morning, we're learning how to include it now in our breakfast routine. Bet you never thought that could happen. Here to show us is the author of the new cookbook, The Truly Healthy Family Cookbook. Her name is Tina Ruggiero. Did I say it right? Ruggiero, you got it. Awesome. Good morning and welcome Good to the morning. show. Good morning. It's great to be here. And I'm so happy we're doing something different with kale. If everybody's tired of kale chips and kale salad, this is the recipe for you. That's the first thing I thought when uh, when Rudy, our producer, said she's going to be making a kale frittata. Okay, A, love frittatas, mm -hmm. but I would have never thought of this as a vegetable to put in it, even though we have spinach in them all the time. You know something? People need to start thinking out of the box. You can do amazing things with simple everyday ingredients, which is what I've done in my new book to make really new recipes that will tantalize your taste buds and get you excited about eating healthy. Now what is it about kale that makes it so healthy that makes everybody so into it right now? It is very very high in antioxidants vitamin A and vitamin K and those have been shown to fight cancer. And also to slow aging? And to slow aging. Okay. And you know, that's important. Aging. Not that I mean, the cancer fighting isn't good. That, that but is. I'm like, wait a minute, antioxidants, that's in our moisturizers. Yes, you know, something, uh, aging is inevitable. Uh, so, you know, I think it may slow it down. Okay. But uh, in terms of fighting cancer, and especially since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, right. you know, get your kale in. I mean, we definitely. We and should how much have more should we kale. be having a day or, or during the week? Like, how many servings of you it? You want to have at least six servings of fruits and veggies every day. And if you have a slice of my frittata in the morning, that's probably a half a cup of vegetables right there. Oh, wow. So it's an easy way to get veggies in the morning. All right, now tell us what the frittata is. Okay, so a frittata is like an omelet instead of making the eggs first and adding the filling as we would an omelet. With a frittata, you mix everything together. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go to Italy and you eat it, it's going to be served at room temperature. Oh, really? Here, you tend to get it warmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to make this by browning about a cup of red potatoes. I like the potatoes are still part of your truly healthy family cookbook because you know how sometimes we, we think carbs are like off limits and that sort of thing, but this, is, this can be healthy or a part of a healthy diet. Who's running in the marathon on Sunday? Rudy. This, Rudy, you know what? <laughs> potatoes are your friend. They're a great source of glucose, which is converted to muscle glycogen, which helps your muscles perform, and it will make you run faster, swim longer, cycle faster. Potatoes are your friend. I like that. Melissa, she's our favorite new, new uh, dietitian. Absolutely. <laughs> you know something? You don't need to exclude foods. You need to eat whole foods that are healthy and delicious. And so, uh, uh, okay. And now, when, when it comes to the potatoes, after we've browned them and stuff, I see you're whipping up the eggs. Now, could we also use egg whites in this? Use the whole egg. Really? Egg is a source of choline, which is a B vitamin, and choline helps with energy metabolism. So you want to fire up your metabolism? Have an egg. And that's in the yolk. That is in the yolk. Ah, so we always, you know what, it's weird how we've been told to leave things out because they weren't healthy for us, but the things that we're leaving out could be hurting us. Exactly. Interesting. Exactly. Egg. You get Egg. my exactly. bun. Okay, now what's that you're adding? Okay, adding a little bit of garlic, about five cloves. Okay, this is how I know you're Italian. That's a little bit. And five, five <laughs> cloves, that's not a lot. And then we add the egg. Mm -hmm. And then we stir that for a little bit until it's nice and aromatic. And of course, the recipe is in the book. Right, and we'll also be posting this on our Great. site and on our Facebook page. Now, in goes about a cup of kale. Did you do anything to the kale beforehand? No. Nope. Other than just chop it? It's washed. You can, you know, you can throw it in raw, you can steam it. It's really, this recipe is very forgiving. Another mm -hmm. thing about my book, you know, the recipes are super forgiving. Lots of flexibility. A little bit of thyme, a little bit of tarragon, and then you know what, you're going to top this with a little bit of cheese. And look how beautiful. This it's is, yummy. Isn't this gorgeous? And uh -huh. everything needs to have eye appeal. Now, once this gets cooking mm -hmm. and the eggs start to get firm. You just leave it. Put it in the oven. Oh. Ten minutes at 425. And then you're done. And, and then like, it this comes is out too. like that. Uh -huh. And my dear, for your tasting pleasure. Our favorite part, the tasting part. And I love is, frittatas though, this I have to tell you. 140 calories per slice. This is awesome. 7 grams of protein, 35 milligrams of sodium, almost no sodium. So for people who are trying to follow a Tina, low sodium I love diet. This. Delicious, right? I love this. And cheap to make and no fuss, no fads. Listen, 
If you want to meet Tina, you can this weekend. She's got a lot of great recipes, including cocktails in her oh, truly yes. healthy family cookbook. You can find this recipe on our site, as we said. But then if you want to get more, get her book and then let her sign it while she does her cooking demo. It's going to be happening downtown at the Bloomies Home, De Home Store on 600 North Wabash, Saturday from noon until 3. And all the info is on her website, which I'm assuming has lots of great recipes, too, lots right? Lots of great recipes. Sign up for my newsletter. Chat with me. I'm very accessible. I love that. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you. Buon appetito. Thank you.